Certainly, so CAR T cells are a very new therapy within this field. Um, they were first given in 2012 to a young patient in America. Um, there's now two products licensed in America, one in the field of ALL and one in lymphoma. Um, within the UK, there are um, a small number of clinical trials running in, uh, again, a small number of centres. We have one running at King's and we've got more to open later on in the year. Um, as it's such a new area of therapy, um, the side effects can be quite uh, challenging to manage because there isn't really much of an evidence base there on how to treat these side effects. Um, so we're all essentially learning as we go. Um, so it is, a, as I say, a challenging area. Um, we, um, the role of the nurse um, is important in early identification of the um, toxicities of treatment, um, early escalation and um, management of these side effects. So cytokine release syndrome occurs when the CAR T cells start to expand um, in the patients, um, usually within their bone marrow, within um, haematological malignancies. When they start to expand and do their job, um, cytokines are then released and they create sort of like a, a chemical reaction almost in the patient, um, also known as a cytokine storm. Um, this can lead to side effects such as um, very high temperatures, so temperatures of 40 to 41 degrees, um, hypotension and other organ toxicity such as problems with renal function and liver function. The first sign that we usually see is a raise in temperature and the patient starting to feel unwell. We can then start to see the blood pressure dipping. Um, the symptoms can mirror sepsis and we generally treat it as sepsis because we're not often sure until much later whether it well sepsis or cytokine release syndrome. We do blood cultures but they take a number of days to come back and we can check cytokine levels in the bloodstream but again these tests take a number of days to come back so at the time of the symptoms um, we would treat as neutrinic sepsis but keep in the back of our minds that this may well be cytokine release syndrome.